What's going on, everybody? It's your boy G Mind back in the house, man. Um, I don't know what is this season four. I have no idea, bro. I just know it was week one. We all the way. I think like in uh, I think like week eleven as of today. Um, pretty much these are just some of the scores that um, uh, you know, transpired uh during week one. Um, well, you need Seattle, but I I don't know what's really going on with him. I know he's in the top one hundred. I know it was early on. Uh, the season was just starting and shit like that. So, you know what I'm saying. I don't know exactly what the situation was with him, but I know that he's still in the league now, so apparently he's been making his gains. But like I said, we're so far ahead. I've just been doing so much other shit. Um, you know, today is, uh, what is it, Super Bowl Forty Eight today? Uh, I'm going to get into that and um, just the whole the whole perception that uh, and the whole changes and shit like that, that that's been happening over the years um, with the NFL. But um, nothing too spectacular going on. Um, what the, the what, yeah, I'm about to say that's a CPU, okay. And then I know I got a lot of computer teams. Um, pretty much the reason that there's a lot of computer teams is because of the same reason of, you know, why I had to boot somebody today actively. Um, there's so many different ways for you guys to view the rules. The website, you know, Potato Head sends out messages. Um, there's a lot of different ways for guys to get information, just like in regular, in, in real life, bro. Like, dudes act like they don't know what's going on and then they get out of line and then wonder why it's like a big ass boot message on their fucking screen. Like, it, look, we, we we all play the game to have fun, but at some point, dudes gotta understand, man. Like, yo, I don't really give a shit, bro. Like, I'm not gonna, I can't be everybody's dad. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, you you, you got an obligation. You wanted to join the league, just like anything else. You want to take part in. You know what I'm saying? Don't gotta be a job. Don't gotta be something, but uh, something that 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 that's monetary. But you you make a commitment. You say you're gonna play. Um, if you're not gonna play, get a message out. You know, I'm simple as that. Don't don't act like you don't know what's going on, and then and then you start getting crazy, like saying stupid shit and think you're gonna still be in the league. It's not gonna happen here. So R.I.P. to who? I, I was wasn't it K Dog one two three four five? Like, bro, listen, man. Whatever it is, bro. Like, I I really don't have time for the bullshit. I don't know who recommended you. As a matter of fact, it just came up on Twitter that Aquaman recommended you. Um, pretty much, you know, Aqu Aqua's cool. You know, when I played Call of Duty, he was you know he was part of that team. You know, the G-Myers World Clan or whatever like that. But, you know, like I said, I, I'm going to have to, um, what, what, is, what is the actual word? Um, I'm going to have to initiate and uh, basically create a situation from uh, the old school. Like, you, if you bring somebody in, you know what I'm saying? You're responsible for that person's behavior. You know what I'm saying? So, because I really, like like I said, bro, like this dude is really running around, uh, K-Dog, leaving messages talking about, uh, uh, what did he say? He says he has to work. Like, bro, everybody got to work. Yo, Potato Head is at work fucking tweeting shit out and texting dudes to make games. Who gives a fuck if you got to work? I don't care. Like, bro, listen, I got to run the league. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, which one is more important, your job or the league? I don't got time to be waiting for motherfuckers for more than 12 hours when you know you got two hours to fucking respond. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, this is just what it is. Like, you recommend somebody, that dude violates, yo, dude, you got to pierce your cheeks too. It's just the way the world goes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just think about it this way. If you if you introduce somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, say you introduce somebody to your friend and that person happens to be a serial killer and he kills the whole family and everybody knows that you were the person that, that you know what I'm saying, that fucking, you know, introduced them. You think they're going to think about you the same way? Like, bro, you, you about to get that work. I, I know at least I'm going to put some work in because you're the person that brought them in. You know what I'm saying? Donnie Brasco. You know, these things from history. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, look, listen. You bring them in, you but you gonna get that work. So that's that's what that's what's being actually cemented into the rules as of today. You know, February second, two thousand fourteen. For however long the league stays going on, bro. Like, look, I have no problem, you know, letting people in the league, but once you get in here, it's a certain way you gotta act amongst men. Like, listen, there's no, I, I know we got some younger dudes in, in in the league and shit like that, but you're gonna grow up fast because you know what I'm saying. Once you make the obligation to do it, that's just what it is. So. You know what I'm saying? I'm just letting them know after today, dudes that recommend somebody or whatever, yo, just know, what the fuck? How the fuck did that pass get over there like that? What, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't even know what the fuck just happened with that. Um, But yeah, pretty much, if you if you uh bring somebody in, just understand that. Like, look, man, if that dude does something stupid, I I'm going to be knocking at your door with a fucking steel toe boot. And that's pretty much what it is. But um, other than that, I hope you guys are ready for the Super Bowl today. I don't even know. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to try to upload this video. I got like four other videos that I haven't even fucking processed yet. Yo, I hope you guys forgive me. Probably won't because I'm getting so many private messages like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? 
You know, but it's like in a respectable version. You know what I'm saying? Like how we handle each other, females included. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, where's the fucking videos at? Very, very happy that females are interested in fucking looking at a Madden video just to hear me talk. That shit is just like, wow, um, I must be doing something right. Um, but yeah, pretty much I appreciate that, man. All, all that love you guys show, definitely appreciate it. But uh, I, I wanted to just talk to you guys about, you know, Super Bowl. Like, I, I'm my, my pick my pick for Super Bowl for the Super Bowl today. I'm, I'm going to have to go with the Seahawks. And look, I'm not... It's sort of like this. Like, I got to compare this to, like, the whole Obama thing with Romney. You know what I'm saying? Like, people people, people assume that because somebody votes for Obama in the black community, or, well, Afro, Af, black African-American Negro community, that they vote for him because he was black. Which is the case in most, mo, most parts. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? Um, with this situation right here, it seems to, uh, it's it started to get it, like talking to other people. It became more of a, a a color issue than than the actual visualization of just recognizing that Peyton Manning is pure greatness and Russell Wilson just has to be just happens to be a quarterback that doesn't make a lot of mistakes. I don't consider him somebody spectacular. He just doesn't make a lot of mistakes, but he happens to be an Afro American. Uh, whether he talks like that or whatever, that's just what he appears to be um, in the eyes of of the people of the public so um you know pretty much I, that that's not the situation of like yeah i'm going with the Seahawks because of that i would love peyton manning to win the, the second one just because i think eli manning is the biggest bum to ever walk the fucking earth i would love and, and i don't think that it's right that you know when they go to family dinner at the manning house that you know eli manning can get the big piece of chicken just because he got two rings where his defense you know pretty much you know did 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 did, did, did everything for him uh, when he had burrs for that one you know what I'm saying? Burns did a lot for him too. But like I said, Manning is a very, very fortunate quarterback to be put in the situation that he was put in. And I just think that if Peyton Manning gets this second one, that he's more cemented as the greatest QB of all time. Because right now, he's just the greatest regular season quarterback of all time. He wins too. You got to give that man credit. It's so difficult to make it to a fucking Super Bowl, much less fucking win it. Um, even with this shit right here, uh, like, like even in the video game like this, like, well, YF, you know, I played him like three or four times. Well, well, three, I think like three times in the Super Bowl, maybe. And he's beating me all three times. Um, you know, going back to 2013, it, it's not even that. It, it's not about the expertise of the play or shit like that. It's just like, you know, things just happen. You know, and as far as far as like you know, Peyton Manning is concerned, Peyton Manning never had a defense in in, in Indianapolis, pretty much, and he had to outscore everybody, and that's pretty much what made him great. Because he was he was so competitive and had su had such he had such a killer instinct that yo he's like fuck it Jim Mercer you don't want to give me a fucking D I'm gonna do this shit by myself but at some point you know in everybody's life there's always gonna be somebody else there that you gotta prepare differently for and Tom Brady was that guy you know what I'm saying that was able to go in and dot his defense up just enough just enough to make sure that they get the win and on top of that you know you had a great coach that was able to game plan and take away a lot of the things that Peyton Manning wanted. Um, but as far as it goes today, the reason I'm picking the Seahawks, I, I just, I just love, I love the, I love the defensive mentality of that team. And I love Pete Carroll. Listen, I don't care that Pete Carroll ran away like a thief in the night from USC when he realized that Reggie Bush was about to get fucked and he knew all about the money and shit that Reggie Bush was receiving. I'm not mad at Pete Carroll about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, pretty much it is what it is. Everybody knows that a high majority of the, of the, of the students in the NCAA are getting paid. Do I deserve they should be paid because of the money that these other guys make? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I just think that, you know, people can't say that Nick Saban is a great college coach at Alabama and forget about the fact that he left Miami like a fucking a homosexual that, that ran into a fucking all-female bar. Like, listen, bro, it, it, it is what it is. People are going to do what's best for them, and you can't be upset about it. And like I said, I don't hold anything away. I mean, take anything away from uh, Pete Cal. I really like him as a coach. And like I said, everything that Richard Sherman did up to the point about him getting dressed, taking a shower, and still doing the same bullshit about Crabtree, I appreciated. To just be a human for once when, you know what I'm saying, when they asked him, you know, what happened, and he called him a mediocre receiver and a bum and shit like that. That, that, that I think the game needs that. Because pretty much, once you take away the celebrations and you have them as robots and now they all got to say the same shit, it's only a matter of time before people lose interest as far as the diehard fans. There's always going to be those fly-by-night fans. Like the dudes that watch golf just because Tiger Woods is, is fucking golfing. 
Nobody else wants to watch no big gut motherfuckers with fat asses and golf pants fucking golf. Like, that. that's just, you know what I'm saying? It's all about the fly-by-night fan. That's what makes your product great. And um, I just think that the, the Seattle Seahawks, like I said, I, I, if Peyton Manning wins, I, it's not like I'm going to be upset about it. It's just that I would like to see a non-robotic team that changed the trend win so that they could show other teams like, you know, within certain guidelines, you can have fun. Like, do I think Richard Sherman took it way too far? You know, when he went into the fucking after the game and did his shit? Absolutely. I do. And like I said, it's just about the way you carry yourself as an Afro-American Negro, much less having dreads in. Because once you have the dreadlock, it's pretty much, you're fucked, bro. You're not going to a regular place of employment and getting a job. So you got to be, you got to be, understand, you got, you got to understand and be, and, and be respectable enough to, to still recognize that the NFL is still an employer. A lot of people just think, yeah, these dudes made it. It's good. They're making millions. They, st- yo, they still employed by NFL. Their check is, is fucking your NFL fucking employee. So you still have to conduct yourself in, in a certain type of manner. And I talk a lot of shit. And, and like I said, you know, when I played sports, I talk shit or whatever like that. But I knew when to stop. You know what I'm saying? After it's all said and done, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you fight hard for however long you got to play your sport. After it's all said and done, you can't still be carrying on like an asshole. Even, you know, not based on what happened in the game. But if it's a personal vendetta, that's different. And I understand the shit that happened with them personally, you know, Richard Sherman and, uh, you know, uh, Crabtree. But you, he, he, just, he just took it a little bit too far. And is he the best corner, I think, in the NFL right now? Uh, me, personally, I, I love Patrick Peterson. Um, based on the way that Richard Sherman plays, though, I, I really do like Richard Sherman. Like, I, I, what the fuck? He didn't pick that shit? What the fuck? Um, I really do like... I, 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 would, I would take Richard Sherman. I'm going to be honest about it. I love Patrick Peterson because I think he's what closely resembles Deion Sanders as we're going to see for a little bit. Even the Dow Green taking it back to like the Redskins, like I, I think that he just has an embodiment of something that can be a real force to be reckoned with in the league. Um, but the rest of the defense on Arizona is not that good, so it doesn't really help him out as much as you know the defense helps out Richard Sherman. So it would be between Patrick Peterson and Richard Sherman, who I would take personally, but you know, like I said, Look, he fucking scared the shit out of Aaron Andrews. She thought he was fucking Jameis Winston on the night of the rape. Look, I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? What was really going on through the guy's mind? I have no fucking idea. But I can tell you that it was very, very, very uh, relieving to see that he wasn't just going to be another robot and say, yeah, you know, I'm just glad to be here. You know, thank this guy, thank that guy. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Because it just you, you just expect it. You know what I'm saying? And when, and when you just expect something... It, it starts to take away from what the actual excitement is of the game. When when you don't got to really stay and listen. So, you know, if everybody is saying the same shit, why sit and watch a post conference? You know what I'm saying? If, if nobody's going to say, um, yo, it's like this, it's like that, and like that. And uh, I don't know. What, that's an old school rap. I don't know why it just fucking came to mind. But, yeah, pretty much, if that's what happens, why the fuck would anybody be interested in watching anything? I don't think the NFL realizes that if they keep on taking away the things that make the people who they are, you know, it's it's the diehard real fans that lose interest in the game itself. At some point, you got to let somebody be who they're going to be, just like in any in, in, in real life. You can't force someone to be something that they're not. That's just the way it is. So, you know, pretty much I want everybody to understand that, you know, Richard Sherman, is he a straight douche for go, for carrying on like he did in that manner for that long? Absolutely. But was it refreshing? It was. He just took it a little bit too far. And he's, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's just pretty much the case behind it. But I really think today that the Seahawks should win this game. I don't think that we're going to, that, that, uh, you know, I, I don't think Russell Wilson's going to make a lot of mistakes. I think he's going to play the way he's supposed to. I think Beast Mode is going to fucking run havoc against their fucking run D. And I, I just think that Golden Tate and the boys going to make enough plays to win. That's just my personal opinion. You guys gonna be—I don't know if you guys gonna be able to watch this before or after the Super Bowl, depending on when it's uploaded. But I'm gonna get it up there as soon as possible. But I want you guys to leave your picks if it's there early, and uh, be honest and let me know who you thought were gonna thought you would, thought was gonna win prior, and then we could just you know we could chop it up and talk about it, you know, possibly on Twitter or whatever like that, and just you know see what's going on with that. But 
Um, I know I've been away for a little bit. I'm going to fucking buckle down in the next coming week. Get you guys out some more content. Hope you guys enjoyed this. For those people that, um, you know, still want to join the league, definitely hit up Potato Head, Potato Head 9 on PSN. And uh, enjoy the Super Bowl, man. Stay safe. Use a rubber. And until next time, one love.